Hey everybody, welcome back to Global Conflict TCG. My name is Ryan. Um, it's gonna be the first part in a video series that I do on how to make your own custom TCG. Um, so, you know, when I first started working on my own trading card game a couple years ago, um, the first thing I did was go to YouTube and look for, you know, videos on how to make your own trading card game, you know, how you can make things in, you know, on your computer using like Photoshop and things like that. Um, and to be honest, there weren't, there really weren't too many videos. There are a couple um, where people show you, you know, how to put the cards together in Photoshop. Um, but just, there wasn't, to be honest, there wasn't really comprehensive. So I figured I would go ahead and show you guys how I did mine, um, how I figured it out, and just share with you some of the tips that I learned along the way. And hopefully this helps somebody out down the road. Um, so this can be probably a three-part video. Uh, might go into four, depending on what we cover. But um, this first video here, you want to stick around because I'm going to talk about the program that I actually use to put the cards together and try to provide you some tips that are going to that's going to save you or potentially save you um, tons and tons of hours, tens if not hundreds of hours. Um, especially if you're, you know, the trading card you're putting together. If you're going to have sets of well over a hundred, then you're going to want to know what I have to tell you. So let's dive into it. The very first thing to talk about is the program. So. Um, I have built my entire trading card game using the Affinity suite of products. So, um, and what those are, so it's kind of similar to Photoshop, but it's like a cheaper, <laughs> cheaper brand that costs a lot less money. So I'm using in particular um, here, what you see on my screen is Affinity Publisher, um, along with Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. So they're actually three separate softwares that you can buy, but when you purchase all three of those softwares, they kind of work as one like in one app, which is nice. So if you look here at the top left of my screen, you can see this yellow icon here. This is the publisher persona. Um, the blue icon is designer, and then the purple is for photo. So I have all three softwares purchased. Um, they're all working within one app together. And so um, the real key here is that I'm using mainly uh, Affinity Publisher and Designer. Those are the two main, like, programs that I'm using the most. They're the ones that have really helped me to construct my entire card set from zero to all the way to 80 for the base set. And I actually have way more cards made outside of the base set. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting really close to being ready to expand this set actually when once I release it. So, you know, like I said, I used Affinity. The price is really um, pretty reasonable. I'm not sure what the actual price is right now. Um, but back when I bought it, it was like $50 a program, which is pretty reasonable. So we're taking a look here at Affinish, Affinity Publisher. And so what you're looking here right now, this is one of my card templates. And so my first tip, and really the main tip, is that whatever program you use, whether it's Photoshop, like Illustrator, or if you're going to use something like GIMP um, or Affinity, um, you want to look for something that provides you the ability to create master page templates or, or just templates for your cards that you can constantly reuse over time. Um, I know for a fact Photoshop does that, but um, I, when I first started my trading card game, I actually used GIMP, which is a free software, and there's totally there's nothing wrong with it, but it's more, um, GIMP is more of an actual photo editor. And so there's some of the features that I was looking for, like that I found in Affinity, like making custom pages, custom templates, and even some of the um, magnetic snapping ability and alignment tools within Affinity was not present in GIMP at the time. So long story short, went, switched to Affinity, gained the ability to create master pages and templates like what you see on the screen right now. Um, and essentially what I did is I made templates for every type of card in my set that I would possibly need. So this is the first template, Master A. And then if I kind of if I scroll down here, you'll see I have Master B, which is now on the screen. So it's essentially the same as Master A, except I have different resistance, um, resistant photo frames there, uh, or image frames. And then if I go down to Master C, this is a this is a concept art that I'm working on where it's like a full art type of card. So that's actually not in the set yet. <laughs> a little sneak peek for you guys. But um, and then all the way down Master D. So this is this is absolutely in my base set. Um, it is a play. It is a type, the same type of card as Master A, my first template that I showed you, except I've removed the ability on the top or in the middle section of the card, and I, and I applied another attack. So 
you know, certain type of units, some will have abilities, some will have two attacks, some will only have one attack. I have a template for everything. And so if I keep going down, I have another template here. So this is, you know, similar to template D, but this is for vehicles. And you can see here, I already have stage one land vehicle. I should probably have to change that. But um, this is for vehicles that have two attacks. So a lot of like tanks and things like that. And then I have my resistance set up. So there's a template for that. And then if I keep going down, so all of my command cards, I have templates for each of those. So command supporter. And if we keep going, here's my action card. So that's also a template, my template for base upgrade cards. You can see like how I just made templates for everything. And you know, that's probably the, the longest part is just making the templates. Once you make the templates, gosh, I think I, I cranked out 80 cards like in maybe two, three hours. Like it was really that fast. Like once the templates are done, you can make those cards within a matter of hours. Um, and we're talking like maybe two, three hours. I really didn't spend that much time. Um, so that's my biggest, my biggest tip is, is the ability to make templates and to make reusable templates that you can reuse constantly throughout your set. And then especially like, you know, you'll finish your first set. And then if you expand into later sets or make expansions, that's where those templates are going to come in super handy. So let's go ahead. We'll talk about, so I'll take you back to template A. This is my template. You can see here all my text boxes that I use. Um, what's nice about affinity and the snapping ability is that all of these are aligned perfectly the way that I need them aligned. And then for each single template, they're aligned exactly the same, even like, and we're talking like down to, down to the pixel. So if I go to designer, it'll we'll take a look. So at the pixel placement here, all of these pixel placements, you know, looking at the X and the Y axis, the width and the height for each template is the same. And that's that's where I think using a program like Affinity really can set you apart as far as making a really professional looking card game, which is what I'm trying to go for, I'm, where everything is aligned and things, you know, things are not offset compared to each other. So huge tip there. One other tip that I want to share with you guys that is super important. Um, when you make the templates, this is... Probably this is another thing that's probably saved me hours is so when you make the templates, right? And let's say you're, you know, 80, 90, 100 cards deep, you, you've already made 100 cards. And now let's say you look at your cards and you're like, gosh, there's something I need to change this on the card. Or there's something about the layout that is not working for me. So I need to make an update. Um, instead of updating all 100 cards at one time, you actually can go into the template change the template itself so like i'll give you an example say look at the hp text box here so we'll go ahead and fire this open and then we're going to update this so, so let's say instead of hp i want to change this to like mp so we'll do that we'll change it to mp instead of hp so instead of going through all 100 of my cards to change hp to mp you can actually just change the template and then if we go ahead and take a look Look at my light infantry. It no longer says HP. It actually says MP. And if we make this zoom in there, there you go. So that is another huge time saver about templates. Is when you have those master templates, if you got to make big sweeping changes or like changes to your card layouts, you can actually just make the change to the template, and it'll apply to all of your cards, saving you hours of hours of work. Um, and especially, you know, when we're talking about TCGs, you really want to try to do things in a way that saves you time and work and leaves you more time for creativity, right? So two really huge tips. Um, I hope you find value in these um, because I'll, I'm on it. I'll be honest, I probably said it a bunch already, but having templates, using Affinity, and just using these sets of tools have really saved me tons and tons of hours of time working on this game. And it's left me a lot more time to do other creative things like make new cards and work on other stuff for this game. So I hope you get some value out of this video. Um, like I said, this is the first video within the set. I just want to talk about affinity and templates and things like that. Um, go ahead and click on the next video that I'm going to post up here any second now um, where we're going to actually go in. I'm going to show you how to make templates in affinity, um, what to look for, provide some tips and things like that. So go ahead and click on the video, whichever way it pops up on the screen. Um, if you'd like to learn how to make these templates and how to actually, you know, put these cards together.
All right, see you, see you in the next video.